Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Last convention was in May. It's now September. What are we doing? <laughs> To those who don't know who I am, hello, my name is Raisa, aka Kiko. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time convention artist, con artist. Anyway, I do conventions part-time, although I've been a lifelong artist my whole life. I know I said in my community tab that I'm going to be vlogging my anime magic experience, but unfortunately, that didn't really happen. I do have valid reasons for it, which I will explain later, but do not worry, I will provide you my review of Anime Magic. But what are we doing today? Today is Wednesday, it's actually 10.57. We are going to Portland, Oregon. It's my first time. I'm going there because of Rose City Comic Con happening this weekend. Never been in Portland before, so I'm also excited to explore Portland tomorrow. But before I continue yapping, come with me and let's go to the airport. Test mic, test mic. About to have a sip of this coffee. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> that sucks. Good morning. It's Thursday here in Portland, Oregon. It's 10.30 in the morning here and I have been awake since 4.30 because I'm still in Chicago time. So, yeah. <laughs> Waking up early is definitely not going to be an issue. I'm used to waking up early but staying up late at night is gonna be a little bit difficult because of the time change anyways enough about that and i actually have my ipad here with me so i can remember my notes so what is anime magic um anime magic is an anime convention held at donald d stephens convention center at rosemont illinois um, I believe that their attendance in 2023 was around 6k, so definitely a really small con, very geared towards local artists. But that doesn't seem to be the case when Anime Magic was accepting artists for this convention. There were probably about 300 tables in total, just basing it off of the table list that they provided. Um, but I can pretty much say that about 200 something, 250 artists probably were accepted for this small convention. A lot of out-of-state artists were able to dodge a bullet on this one um, because they asked in the Discord server if this is worth flying to and 99% is a no unless your expenses are very low. But for the most part, it should be a convention that out-of-state artists need to avoid as much as possible. But yeah, I didn't vlog because I was not feeling well a couple of days before the convention. I didn't realize until after the fact that I overworked myself before the convention. So Anime Magic happened from August 30th to September 1st this year. And basically the week of August 18th or August 19th, um, I was working at my full-time job. I worked my 40 hours um, from Monday to Thursday and then from Friday to Sunday I was working on prepping for both Anime Magic and Rose City Comic Con and I basically logged like 30 hours within a span of three days of just working on con stuff. 
So during that time, I was already having some headaches and mind you, I just had my period when these headaches were happening. And I think me overworking definitely did not help because the headaches got worse. Um, I basically had a headache for over seven days and it got to a point that it really, really hurt me and I was in tears. <laughs> so I had to take Wednesday and Thursday off um, after being seen by a specialist um, just to basically get a complete bed rest and recuperate and that seemed to help a lot I mean I still had to work a little bit on that Thursday before the convention and because of that setback because of me not feeling well I was prepared but not fully prepared if that makes sense for anime magic I set everything up Friday morning um, it's a slow con, so I was still setting up after an hour the convention opened on Friday, but what is it really that I'm trying to say here? Well, first thing is that do not put your health on the back burner. Listen to your body, listen to what you feel, and give yourself adequate rest. Doing Artist Alley is not a joke, and it is a lot of work, and most of the time, you don't get paid for it until you get your sales. So. Anyways, going back to Anime Magic. So this is my second year vending at Anime Magic and last year definitely still was very new to Artist Alley so I didn't have a whole lot of stuff to offer. But I will say this, Anime Magic was still profitable for me and that is because I am local. The table cost was 175 they didn't require um, liability insurance, which ASIN did, and I just really had to pay for parking and my meals for every day that I was there. Artist Alley hours for Anime Magic is very long in my opinion. From Friday to Sunday, they started at 10 a.m. Friday and Saturday, they ended the show at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 5 p.m. Mind you that those hours are a lot longer than Anime Central which is so weird because what? <laughs> make it make sense. I honestly feel like they should have adjusted the show hours on Friday to start like at a, at a later time because no, one's, no one was there. A lot of people were still at work or still at school. There's not a whole lot of attendees on Friday anyway, so why start at 10 if you can just start like a, around 1 p.m. Especially if, you know, like you have folks that are just setting up on Friday morning. I did mention about the tables. I think this convention has too many tables for the amount of attendees that they have. I think attendees for the most part were able to navigate the artist alley and the exhibitor area, but I think the people in the creator corner were not getting a lot of love because it doesn't really say what it is. It just seems like it's an extension of the artist alley or the exhibitor area. It's just not properly labeled unless you look at the map, but I feel like there should be better signages in the convention area itself. I did hear from a lot of attendees that they appreciated the big walkways, you know, in between tables of artist alley and exhibitor because at other conventions like ASIN like it was just like really hard to navigate the entire area because it was very crowded but mind you it's just that anime magic has more attendees than anime magic so I get that I get that from the attendees perspective you know having that good space especially for disabled attendees I think it's very helpful they could still cut a couple of tables especially that by sunday there were reportedly 27 empty tables some of the artists already left early saturday they packed up early because there was really no point to stay there for a long time what else can i say i'm just looking at my notes right now so overall it's not recommended for out-of-state artists if you can cut your costs definitely it's not a bad idea but I feel like if you have other convention alternatives you can go to, then I think you should go there, especially if it's already local to you. There were other conventions happening during the same weekend of Anime Magic, the big ones that people fly to, such as Nandescon, um, San Japan, 
um i think there's a couple of more that i'm forgetting right now there's also apparently pax west now i know that it's not an anime or a comic convention but a lot of people fly for that convention and of course that deters the amount of attendees that can go to a specific convention you know if they have to choose between a b or c if they think that c is better then of course they would just fly there instead of just going to this con <laughs> I also think that Anime Magic is a good hangout con for a lot of people, a lot of young folks for sure, but um, still saw some, you know, young ones and their parents shop there, which is nice. Another thing to consider is that I was at ASEN a couple of months before Anime Magic and a lot of attendees that came to my booth, or my table rather, told me that, um, oh I got uh, this from you already at ASIN oh I got this already I got this already so a lot of a lot of attendees that came there already bought stuff from me some came back to buy more which I highly highly appreciate oh another thing that happened at anime magic was that I was previously given a spot at table 56 but the day before the con i think or the day during the con they made some changes and they moved me to a different table which doesn't even exist on the map <laughs> so that too is just like seems like they did not properly organize the artist and table numbers pretty well part of it was probably because a lot of people backed down from tabling at this convention i don't know um there's just a lot of uncertainties about how they organize their table placements at anime magic i'll show like a a map of like where my non-existent table is Anyways, I think that's it for anime magic. Would I do it again? I would. I totally would. I just hope that they don't coincide anime magic dates with another major convention because it still gives me a decent amount of profit for, for a small weekend. So yeah, I think I've yapped way too much. What are we going to do now? Yesterday, I was just really tired from the entire ordeal of traveling from Chicago to Portland that when I got here, I was really starving and didn't have it in me to walk outside and explore some dinner places that I just ordered room Looks service. So and Get it was phenomenal, belly. but it was expensive. <laughs> Today, it's almost 11 and we are still here primarily because we are trying to get as much rest as possible for a crazy Friday because Rose City Comic Con only has friday morning set up and the convention starts like around 1 p.m i think 1 p.m or 2 p.m i have to double check i got a ticket to go to japanese garden so i want to go to that and wanted to see powell's books as well so yeah i wanted to explore more but it feels like we're running out of time but i'm just trying to take it easy on me and just relax as much as i can so i'll see you guys when we go out finally got my SD card for this camera so we are switching and we're gonna go to Japanese garden this is our outfit for the day so chic so sporty I have my light jacket here just in case I get in a really cold environment so but it's supposed to be really hot like high 90s and probably a hundred so we'll see I was thinking of walking to the train station, but considering the heat warning, I think I'm just gonna get an Uber. Come with me. I stand alone 
Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. I pushed back the serious feeling, the ends unknown, to get back the life I used to know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know So we're waiting for the bus to arrive and we should be at the right spot. It says bus 20, which this one, oh, it will take us directly, well, right by Powell City of Books. So just waiting for the bus to arrive. Good morning, finally arrived at Oregon Convention Center. This is our table. We're in a corner, corner spot. It's very hot right now. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Here's what my booth looks like. Set up for like four hours and I am so tired. Yeah. Baby's first corner booth. I still need to finish up some signages because I forgot to bring uh, the signs for the acrylic charm right here, right here, so, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, this is what it's looking like. Rose City Comic Con is a comic book and pop culture convention held in Portland, Oregon, usually around September. I can't find the attendee count from recent years, but it was around 70k pre-pandemic, according to Wikipedia. Their artist alley is juried, and the application window this year was from late February to May 12th. I got my acceptance on June 13th. I applied for an inline or a corner spot and somehow got accepted for a corner spot, which was $475. Reviews on this con are very variable and mostly leaning towards not so great. There's a lot of factors to consider, such as your placement, table setup, what you sell, the attendee spending power, and what attendees like. You can pause to see my main expenses here. I am feeling very um, defeated right now because I'm very tired. 
I've been up since 3 a.m. Um, haven't really had any decent caffeine. And I feel like everyone's already set up but me. I know that that's not true, but I just feel like I'm always trying to catch up. So that's just what I'm feeling right now. Uh, I think once I'm all settled in my table, in my space, I think I'll be okay. But yeah, that's just what I feel right now. It is almost 2 p.m. and the convention officially opened at 1 o'clock for general attendees. And I am just really struggling right now. Um, my neighbors are very, very kind. They got me um, coffee so I can continue to stay up. I still have my food. I think part of the reason why I've been feeling defeated today is because one, I haven't had enough sleep. Secondly, every time I look at my art, I'm just like cringing. I'm cringing, I'm cringing. It's just like, why? because I see my art on a daily basis and I just feel like all of these artworks need to retire and I need to like, the pressure is on to like make new art. Um, the pressure is just on me though, like no one else is telling me to do this. Very likely I'm just going to DoorDash something for dinner. Ramen sounds really good right now, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. For the most part, we are pretty much set up. Um, my neighbors were, very very kind they they offered to get me coffee and they were telling me how nice my art is and that how organized the back of my table is and <laughs> i was telling them I'm, that i've been struggling and that it's been really hard today and <laughs> they did it they said that they, they don't really see it no sales so far um which is totally fine people are still looking around I think I'm too tired to feel anything about sales right now. Let's just put it that way. This is my view because I don't have my booster seat. <laughs> I can peek a little bit like this. And then this is my lunch. Full of sugar. Another thing about my setup is that I think I'm very inefficient me taking like three to four hours to fully set up and then not being very comfortable with everything it's too time consuming i need to like find better ways to make my setup better um that's gonna be one of my goals for next year is to make it easy for me so i'm not struggling because <laughs> i obviously am i'm just gonna eat my soggy waffles. <laughs> already dead earlier and then those ladies came and made me laugh and smile pretty well I also think that you know it's Friday so there's not a whole lot of people here yet but it is definitely like very slow too slow in my opinion it might be my lowest performing Friday ever everyone's been nice though so pretty cool done for today empty here too. I think that exhibitor right there did not show up. Don't know. Time to go. Morning. Good, how are you? Good, have a great day. Good, thank you.
Saturday looks like. All the banh mi's on the world. Realistic banh mi for. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hang on, pose for me again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah, let him cook! No arm. Can you help him to lay down? Buy his shirt and let him cook. Me and my little window over here. It's cute! <laughs> and I'm like, gosh, I don't have any, anywhere to sit. But then if I added, if I made it taller, I would have to undo everything else I can't get it. I see. Well, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> Saturday, this is the booth. It's looking a little janky. I know it's just me, but I just don't like just not having like boards for the charms. I don't know. It's, I feel so out of place, but that's just me. Corner. The jankiest corner setup ever. Also, back side of the booth. Back side of the table, I mean. Not too bad, not too bad. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Don't forget your phone. No one is literally saving me this weekend because I did not prepare anything to eat. So thank you for the bun me, non. Hi! <laughs> How are you? Good. This is my sideline, yes. What else do you do? I'm a nurse. <laughs> thank you. So this, know, yeah, how the hell do you find time to do this? It's hard. I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's really hard. But I do love it, so yeah. Well, we all have our extracurricular things. Okay, twenty-five dollars. I love your wallet. Thank oh my you. god! Hopefully, I can make Naruto art in the hell future. Yeah. Kakashi. It's Kakashi. <laughs> Itachi. Both of them. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> amazing and I will, yeah. people love Kane. Like yes. I like oh him. Oh my god, I love him. I like yeah. him, but like I low key hate him because he's evil. I mean, you know. Same, same. <laughs> I can chat a little bit more now, but Saturday is looking much, 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 much better. It's still pretty standard. As someone that does anime and all my stuff is like. 100% anime. This is pretty standard for me. When I say standard, it's very mid. I will say that my Saturday is tying. My Saturday, my Saturday here is about the same numbers as Anime Magic, and my Friday at Anime Magic was way better than my Friday here yesterday. That's currently the status. <laughs> Y'all are so cute! Thank you so much! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you! <Bye. laughs> awesome! Thank you! Yo, back in the hotel, I got myself ramen again for the second time in a row. And the place is called... Hold on, let me look it up. Oh. Oh. Just kidding, that's... It's really hard to do this with just one hand. Ah, hang on, okay. I need to put these here. I need to mix it, but okay, whatever. Oh yeah, Saturday for Rose City Comic Con was infinitely better than Friday, so that's, you know, that's a plus. Again, you know, we're just going back to that mindset that we mentally pre prepare for this already like why you know why feel weird about it um so i keep telling myself that everything's good which you know everything is good I'm just tired <laughs> mm. Mm. 
really good. Mmm. You know what? Sometimes it's the small wins. Sometimes it's a bowl of ramen that will make your day infinitely better. I feel like someone's hugging me right now. Mm. I forgot to mention the name of the place. Matsunoki Ramen. Posted right here. Matsunoki Ramen. Very good. It's like it just hits the spot. Like after a really long tiring day. And mind you, this is my second time in a row ordering from them. Last night's was really good too, but it was just like a little bit, I don't know. I was just like really not feeling it yesterday. But today, I feel like I could focus on this bowl of ramen alone. Mm, it's curing me. Eating outside after a long day by yourself is just like not the best. Um, that's what I think personally. So that is why I'm always like the comfort type person that I just want to be cozy in a space that I can be messy or just be by myself and have a good old fashioned ramen for dinner. Mm. But yeah, as always, I'm very grateful to everyone that stopped by. Honestly, I had a moment last night when I was walking out in the convention center. I was just like looking at the different art that people made on the inside of that convention hall that um, people are just so fucking talented and like the fact that people come to my table to buy stuff from me I think is pretty awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and pass out again. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We are at the convention center right now and we're gonna be looking around. It's nine o'clock so should have enough time to be able to see what's out here. There's a lot of cool stuff. That's my booth from afar. Very tiny. Well, not very tiny. Sydney. Oh my god! So adorable! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hang on, you even have this shirt. I am losing my mind. And then if you could like if I can see the back. Fukuro Daddy, yes! And <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful art. It's awesome. Five o'clock. Where's the announcement? Here we go. morning and happy monday rose city comic con is finally over we're almost packed it's 10 24 our flight leaves at 1 45 so just packed everything and now just just wanted to say a couple of things about rose city comic con i'm very thankful for the opportunity of being here in portland oregon to showcase my artworks provided that my artworks is mainly anime stuff anime fan art so just like any other comic conventions, it's very 50-50-ish if you're actually going to make a lot of profit. I've crunched all my numbers and it looks like I was able to make back all of my expenses for this trip, but I didn't really profit as much. But that's how it is, you know, you're not guaranteed that money that you're going to make at any convention that you go to, especially if it is out of state and this convention definitely has high overhead expenses so keep that in mind 
not every convention is going to make you a lot of money. Friday was definitely the worst Friday I've ever had. And I think a lot of people at Rose City Comic Con definitely felt that there was not a whole lot of people shopping on Friday, which is totally fine because it ended up becoming like eight times better for me <laughs> on Sunday, I mean Saturday, and then probably four times better on Sunday. So that speaks a lot about how Friday went. So take everything with a grain of salt and this vlog is really a tool for you to understand what you're potentially going to be signing up for. Think of it as calculated risk. Always make sure that you do your research because there are people that do very well at these conventions and those that don't do so well. At the end of the day, I am very thankful for all of the support that I got this weekend. Everyone that stopped by to buy something from my table. Every convention is a learning opportunity for me and I've definitely learned a lot of things at this convention. Would I do it again? I definitely would. If I do get accepted for this convention again, I do hope that I have a better lodging situation. I ended up booking a really expensive hotel. I really commend people that do this full time and go to conventions and table at conventions alone um, it's rather lonely and you really don't get to enjoy the convention itself you know like you're just really there to work again thank you Rose City Comic Con for the opportunity of being here if you are from Florida I'll see you in Megacon Orlando in February 2025 expect for new stuff new art hopefully an even better time at Florida. I know that people love watching my Artist Alley vlogs. I just don't think that people are excited to see non-Artist Alley vlogs for me. <laughs> so if you are, I hope you do, please let me know and I'll see you guys at the next convention. Bye bye.